Charles. Welcome to my TED Talk. I am doing it on should NFL players be allowed to kneel or not kneel during the national anthem. In the beginning, I would say I strongly agree that they should be allowed to kneel. And my points are, it's a peaceful protest. They can be the voice of the voiceless. And as men, it's their responsibility. So where are we at? Con Kaepernick, back in August of 2016, is when he first decided that he was no longer going to stand for the national anthem. This was widely criticized and opposed, but he decided that this is something that, as a man, he could take an issue for it, and this is something that he thought was the most peaceful way to do it. Mr. Burris, can you, Mr. Burris, can you click on that link to the video? Expected 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick opted not to stand on Thursday night for the national anthem played before the game between the 49ers and the Chargers in San Diego. As not expected, he was joined by a teammate, Eric Reed, 49ers safety, opted to kneel with Kaepernick. And kneeling is the middle ground of sorts that Kaepernick devised after meeting with Nate Boyer. He's the former NFL would-be long snapper. He was a long snapper in Texas. He's a former member of the military. He went and met with Kaepernick. They talked for an extended period of time on Thursday. Kaepernick decided to show respect to the military and the country by kneeling, but he still won't stand for the national anthem. And he hasn't indicated when he will stand again, but when he believes sufficient progress has been made toward his underlying concern. The issue of police brutality targeted specifically toward African Americans and people of color. That's when Kaepernick will revise his position and stand again for the national anthem. Until then, he's donating a million dollars to the cause and awareness will continue. Whatever his objective was in doing this, and let's assume it was just simply to bring awareness. He's definitely bringing awareness. People are talking about it, whether they don't like what he did, whether they like what he did, whether they understand his message, whether they don't. They are talking about it. And if that was the goal, mission accomplished for Colin Kaepernick. We'll see what his specific mission is in this regard going forward. That was just one of the reasons why he tried to do this. But also, even with all the protests like the Black Lives Matter and the All Lives Matter movements, those haven't really constituted change. But what Colin Kaepernick and other players have started doing, they're starting to get the conversation going. And now, as we will see, It's no longer just Colin Kaepernick. These are just some of the many players and teams that decided to go forward with what Colin Kaepernick started. And now a lot of them are starting to protest during the national anthem. And what they're doing is they're trying to be the voice that a lot of these African American minorities cannot be. Because for example, men like Freddie Gray, Philando Castile, and Tamir Rice have all been affected by police brutality and injustices that have been plaguing this country now. All these men have a, all these men have to be their voice because with their platform, people our age and everyone looks up to these people. These guys are essentially our superheroes. And these guys now know that they can no longer just go out on a football field and just play. They now have to take the next step and be more than what they are now. And that's protesting, bringing awareness to a common issue that is affecting our country as a whole. Now, for, every, for everyone that's on my side, there is people on the opposite sides. And as you can see, one of the people was our president who strongly disagrees with people kneeling for our national anthem. And John Valga, when you just read it in your head, but he, this was one, this was a, um, I think it was or a Facebook message that he posted. And he got a lot of backlash over this for what he said because he strongly disagrees with what they're doing. But these NFL players, they, they face this all the time. And one of the players that I listened to on his podcast, Martellus and he said, for everyone like John Valka, he will continue to do what he is doing. And even with Donald Trump saying everything that he said about 
kneeling. It's just inspiring these NFL players to continue kneeling and protesting everything that's going on with our country. So it's been around two years since Colin Kaepernick first began kneeling, and the number has dwindled a little bit. So now it's just men like Kenny Stills, Michael Thomas, and Eric Reed that are still kneeling. And they will, they will continue to kneel because they believe that there hasn't been enough progress that's being made to stop these injustices, stop these killings that are affecting these black men. And something I want to talk about, Michael Thomas right there, in an interview, they asked him why he knew. He said he started crying because he said he doesn't not, he does not want his daughter to grow up living in this type of world we have today where his daughter's gonna be afraid to see a cop because she's gonna be afraid that she's gonna lose her life. That's and when people saw that, they started opening their eyes a little bit. They started realizing what these men are trying to change and what's affecting them because there's been a lot of unarmed things, just even this year. We've seen, a, we've seen a man get shot in his backyard just because he was on his phone and that. This is what these men are trying to say and change. Because at the end of the day, we're all, we all have to be a human. And even though, they, even though it just affects black people, it's not just affecting them. It's affecting minorities as a well. whole. But kneeling, it has nothing against the military. These men are just, this is the most peaceful way to do it without going out rioting in the streets causing violence and mayhem. This right here is peaceful, and this right here is peaceful, and what they're doing is, they're trying to keep, they're trying to show people at the same time that even though, they, yes, they do care about our military and stuff like that, but this country has a lot of problems that need to be changed, and as a society and as a whole, we all have to come together to start ensuring that we no longer have to. We no have. We no longer have to have people afraid to send their children out alone. And that we no longer have to be afraid of police officers, and that of all the injustice and stuff can stop. And hopefully, we start making a change. And at the end of the day, hopefully, changes.